It's a busy summer ahead of us, guys. We've got the Euros kicking off. We've got Copa America coming up, um, but we also have the summer transfer window, uh, which is fun times. Uh. Fun times. Some big <laughs> names on the free agent list. So we put together a best 11 of all the big names that are available, and we're going to maybe talk about some landing spots for some of these guys, what teams could use some of these players. So we're going to start with the back line and the goalkeepers. Let's see which names are on this list here. Mm, I nice. mean, okay. Okay. Um, what, what I would change here is instead of Navas, I'd put David De Gea, who's still. Oh player. my God, he's still. Yeah. He should he's still, still, still available. available. About it. De Gea is 33 years old. He's okay. still available. How did no team pick them up? I don't know. It is. I literally, my brain just was like. Brr. Yeah. David De Gea. Oh yeah, he's still not anywhere. Um, not what, what teams right now? What clubs right now are in need of a, a starting keeper? An I would upgrade. have said, remember when Real Madrid was going through their injury crisis before yeah. Lugan proved himself to be an incredible goalkeeper? I wasn't the only one. I just assumed David De Gea would end up there, and that didn't happen. <laughs> but if I'm thinking about clubs that need a goalkeeper right now. Aston Villa. Villa. For a number two role. Not as a starter of Martinez, what? but for number two over Olsen. Because Olsen played a few games this year for Aston Villa, and he had an absolute stink. And Villa in Champions League this year. Navas would not be a bad I mean, uh, second string goalkeeper for them. You saw, then, then, then Arsenal might need one as well. You saw the importance of like a yeah. Kelleher this year on Liverpool yeah. mm -hmm. when Alisson went down and, and how important it is to have a, a backup. A backup, yeah. How do you rate Navas in that role? Or De Gea? <laughs> well, I mean, De Gea would be definitely a, a great one, Navas order. one. But um, yeah, Navas, I think, would be, would be very good to be a number two, mm -hmm. to go in there as a, a backup goalkeeper. What about uh, Ramos, Sergio Ramos? San Diego. Bound. Is that Maybe. is that what we're Maybe. <laughs> that was a rumor. A that was a major league soccer. What, what do you think of uh, Matip? Joel yeah, Matip. Matip. Yeah, yeah, he's on. He. I mean, he was contracts quality. up. Realistically, Ramos will probably end up going to either MLS or Saudi Arabia. Yeah, I, I can't see him staying. Club. I can't see him staying in Europe now. He's he done the whole. Sibby. Yeah, he did yeah. the whole thing. You've. You know, you've put that little bit of bow on that closure. Yeah. Now go make that li yeah. that last money that you could possibly make, and that means either MLS or Saudi. Saudi Arabia. Yeah. Uh, what about Mats Hummels? Because apparently there was a report that he would re-sign with Borussia Dortmund if Terzic Terzic was gone. Which he now did the his, his stock his stock is is really high right. Very now. high, and he's he also played very well. I know, but his stock is high. I agree, but he's also 35 so, years old. So in the right team and the right fitting, it could work because the experience yes. that he's got. If you've got a young player, you want to bleed through and you know get him to know the game and understand the game this is a perfect pairing in the I'll right, tell you right now though, environment he doesn't go to a team that plays a high line no no nope <laughs> too slow he's got them cement boots on bro. <laughs> hey, but you no. say that but at times Dortmund did play a high line in the Champions League it wasn't quite halfway line but they weren't far off yes and but, he still did well but very well as long as the pressure is there and he can anticipate and his partner is also strong I think Schlatterbeck partnered him extremely well but there has to be a good understanding of when to drop and the keeper a little bit off his line because he can get caught. If, if it's a one-on-one -on -one situation, he's high up the pitch. See you later. Also, he fought the manager. You know, <laughs> who's going to bring this guy in yeah. before eh. Champions League final? Eh. You never know. Uh, all right, let's uh, look at the rest of the best of 11 and some of the names that stand out here. What do we got? Okay. Who is the biggest? Wow. Get? Who's the biggest? I was get? Pre I was pretty close with this. Uh, Rabio, I think is a is a big one. Uh, Di Maria up there in age feels like a move to MLS. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Memphis, Inter Memphis the pie, Memphis the pie for me. Flown. Also up and there in Silva. age. Rafa Silva. Rafa Silva. Um, I also will say Luka Jovic, who's not on this, is is a is a, is a big name. He's 26 years old, still has a lot left in the tank. Uh, and Anthony Martial. Is Martial probably who is I would have had on this list instead of Michael Antonio. Martial. Instead no. of a Paris. What about Michael Antonio? Martial. Nah. I, I, Memphis the pie is the Martial biggest. Martial is 28 me. years old. And he's constantly injured. He can he can he can't finish a season. So from a club's perspective, why are you gonna be in a rush to get him? I when you're know. gonna yes, he's been at Man United, but he can barely finish one entire he's season. Been at Sola. Oh, there we go. Didn't think about him. There's Michael Antonio. Alexi Sanchez still playing. If if you had the choice. Suze, this is to you. <laughs> Who are you bringing to MLS? Considering the travel, the age, the Ooh. health. From this list? From, from, from this list and from the, the, the first one best 11. One name. 
Mikel Antonio, I think, would be great because he, yes. first of all, he plays for Jamaica. Yeah. He's close to home. Ooh, he can handle that's... physical league. Yeah. Turf, it don't matter. This he's dude is still a big boy. Physically capable yeah. to do it. And if mm -hmm. he comes there, he will score bucket loads of goals. I heard a few Memphis Depay to MLS rumors as well. It would not and surprise I, and me. And I, I, could, I, could see that, I could see that working out. It yeah. could be, I could also see that now. I could see that now. I, it, could, it could go. go yeah, it could yeah. really go. I could see that being a showtime. I still feel that he. I still race. feel that he can probably get another club in Europe, Memphis Depay. He, Imagine Mikel Antonio relieving a little bit of pressure for Hani Mukhtar. Ooh. Right. Oh, I like that. Yeah, Hani Mukhtar is like, Alexis, finally. I feel like you're really good at this. Yeah, so, I feel like no, a lot of times you, you do this, but then, but, and like, it, you kind of like manifest it I into. put it in the ether. What about? <laughs> and the universe yeah. is there. Yeah. Yes. What about Mikel Yes, Atonio? the guy with Dorito Atalanta. dust on his nails. Atlanta. Yes. <laughs> Atlanta. Well, because well, you, you, Atlanta. Atlanta. Not the way they play, you say Nashville, but they have Sam Surge. Yakimak is about to leave. So they'd have to get Atlanta. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I'm just thinking about Almada could also leave. Atlanta. Mikel Antonio. That could work. I mean, Atlanta's going to need Atlanta a whole lot. Atlanta needs, yeah, <laughs> but Mikel Antonio, Atlanta could work. They got some. There's one name that's not on the list, on either list, is Wilfred Ndidi, who's 27 years old, and he, he was, yes. he's an absolute beast for Leicester. So. He'll get another club. Yeah. He'll get another club, and you know, I won't be surprised if uh, certain Jose Mourinho tries to take him mm. to Fenerbahce. Mm.